It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Almost. Again. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena, she insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia, Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. <sighs> Not that you gave me much choice. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. Even if you're only doing this to preserve our arrangement, I'm glad you'll help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. White he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. 
Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. If there's any part of you that is sorry, any part of you that still cares for me... I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Roderick, I... I can't forget what happened between us. But you're helping me now, and I won't forget that either. Elena, I was wrong before. I tried to force your hand. You should marry whoever you want. I'm glad you see that now. For a long time, I wanted that to be you. But I don't know anymore. I just wish we could go back. What do you mean? Back to when I loved you, and you loved me, and... And that's all we needed to know. Here we are in that same old grove, but... So much has changed. Everything is different now. I still love you, Elena. I suppose I do, too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood White Hill. Blood White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. I'll oh, be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway.
Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. No one out there. That might be useful. I can't move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Keep trying the lock. I'll see if there's another way. Right. Ugh, locked. Pulling on it won't help. What are you doing? Getting out of here. I can see it. it it's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. You two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It 